I rather watch that as opposed to the hot dog eating, yeah, the Nathan's that's one. That's just disgusting. disgusting. I would also yeah. rather participate in the crab competition. I think I yes. would enter and just kind of take my time with it, just so <laughs> I could have the crab legs. I <laughs> love it. Knowing you won't win. Yeah, just I'm fine with food. that. <laughs> the eating the food is the win for me. <laughs> Here's a look. We've got a weather impact day today. Now, this is not going to be a win, especially as we're heading through the afternoon and into the evening. Showers and storms will develop late day. We've got an isolated strong to severe storm threat. Our biggest threats will be heavy downpours during the evening commute, damaging wind in excess of 60 miles per hour, and a small tornado threat. Even a small tornado threat is something we need to prepare for, of course. Here's a look at temperatures around the area, though. If you're just heading out on your Monday morning, we're pretty cool but comfortable. 61 degrees in Winston-Salem, 57 in Jefferson, 53 in North Wilkesboro. Temperatures pretty mild overall. Here's a look at radar and satellite. A lot of cloud cover. We wish that would stick around for a while so that we wouldn't warm up so much. The less we warm up by this afternoon, the less of a chance of severe weather we've got. But unfortunately, those clouds look like they will be clearing out over the next couple of hours to some clearer skies. Then we'll watch as this moves into the area. This is a cold front. It's moving through Nashville right now, bringing them winds at 30 to 40 miles per hour and bringing them some heavy rain for their morning commute. Now, of course, a morning severe storm threat looks a lot different than an afternoon severe storm threat where we have all of that warmth that the storm can use as fuel. So as we're looking at those more standard thunderstorms, we can expect that what's headed our way is a lot stronger. Here's a look at the mountains included in this slight risk for severe weather. 50 to 60 percent chance for strong to severe storms this afternoon. It starts at 2 p.m. for the high country, ends at 7 p.m. that highest threat. In the foothills, we're talking about a 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. time frame. That's the same time frame as the Piedmont Triad as well. Temperatures in the mid 70s, that's enough to fuel a pretty strong thunderstorm. Here's a look at our severe storm risk. You can see Nashville just getting those typical thunderstorms, but as we move further east, this is a category one severe weather risk. Now we're at a category two in our forecast area. A slight risk of severe weather is a category two. We're also in that second category of damaging wind probability, and we're in the first category of a tornado probability, but still something, of course, we've got to take very seriously. Got a couple scattered showers out there right now. By this afternoon, we watch as this line of storms moves into the area, and you see all those yellows, oranges, and reds in clusters, and you see that that line stays pretty well defined as it moves through. Sometimes the mountains will kind of chew up a storm like this. Doesn't look like that much chewing up will happen today, so as it moves through, causing some big impacts for us. Tomorrow will be breezy, but much calmer other than that, and then Thursday and Friday, more impact days on the, ra on the way because of heavy rain. Good morning, guys. Coming up on today, we will have new details on what led up to that fatal accident on the set of Alec Baldwin's latest movie and the overnight tributes to the victim. Also ahead, today marks two months.